Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to use a PS4 controller on a PS3 Slim system. Now if you're like me and you damaged your PS3 controller in the past and you've been using maybe an aftermarket one that is absolutely dire to use then a PS4 controller may be for you for this system. So there's two ways we're going to show you. The first way are going to be using both controllers and a USB cable. Second way is just going to be using the PS4 controller itself, hooking it up to the PS3 system using the USB. First of all, you're going to need a USB cable, preferably the one that came with the PS4 controller. With the PS4 controller in hand, we're going to use the mini USB and connect it to the PS4 controller. Then, just simply connect the other end to the PS3 system. Just like so. So with both ends inserted, one end to the PS4 controller and the other end to the PS3 system, we are now going to power on the PS3 system. With that done, you should now see that the PS4 controller is illuminated. You can go ahead and use this connected but to use it wirelessly, Bluetooth, then follow these next steps. With either your existing PS3 controller or your aftermarket one like I'm using here, power on and use this controller to move over and access your accessory settings. Go down to manage Bluetooth devices and select you need to register a new device. So we're gonna do that now. And start scanning. As it's scanning, we now need to take the PS4 controller and unplug it. We now need to hold down the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time. And see it flashes. Now, using that controller, go down, select wireless controller. And it's now registered. So you should be able to now press back up and use this controller for your PS3 system. The second way we're going to show you now is by using the PS4 controller and the USB that came with the PS4 controller. We're going to insert the mini USB end to the PS4 controller. Then using the other end of the USB, we're going to connect it to the PS3 system, just like so. We are then going to power on the system. With the PS3 system fully powered up, the PS4 controller hooked up via the USB to the PS3 system should now illuminate. You should now be able to use this while it's hooked up to the PS3. So now using this hooked up PS4 controller, we're now going to move over and select accessory settings. Manage Bluetooth devices. I'm going to go down and purchase the new device. We're going to start scanning. Unplug the PS4 controller and hold the share and PlayStation button together once again. Until now, the light is flashing. Wireless controller should now come up. All you got to do is hook up the PS4 controller. Select wireless controller. Now register is now completed. Press back up. 
and if you unplug PS4 controller now from the USB power on the system should be able to use the PS3 with the PS4 controller so I'm going to try and test the game now maybe try Tomb Raider and see if that old game works with this controller now there's a warning this button doesn't seem to work with that being said if you've got an aftermarket controller you can just use that to back off the system um, in some games you can use some of the buttons in some games you can I'm afraid um, so you start and select buttons are just these ones here the share and options I'm just going to try Tomb Raider, see how it goes. So I'm trying this now, let's press start. That seems to work pretty good. So let's get on with the game. So yeah, everything seems to look fine. The movement's great. I was playing this um, off screen for about well, 10 minutes got rats back up in the story and um yeah r1 and r2 buttons are fantastic so yeah the only thing that's wrong with this like i said these buttons the um, start and select work with this game the only bad thing is this you hold that button no just in existent that doesn't work and there's no obviously no sound that's going to come through that anyway um so yeah if you want to come and get back off you're gonna to have to use this i'm afraid so if you hold your button on your aftermarket or your old ps3 controller you can then just have it use the same controller as your ps3 or the ps4 controller and select quick game So guys, I hope this helps. Please subscribe and look forward to more videos. Thanks.